this is a new layout here because apparently OBS updated and it's fucking way it fucked up my video setting, so hopefully it works. But um so this video is gonna be primarily about the Isle's current state of uh um, I find it annoyingly slow. Um, I do like. I think maybe this is a bit regular. Uh, I, I do like the current state. Um, I think Deathly, despite your anyone's subjective opinions about him, I think honestly, at the end of the day, if he did actually fuck up the code at, when he left, I think that did the Isle a solid. Because current legacy, in my eyes, is inferior to Evrima. Um, I I don't personally have any emotional attachment to current present legacy. I like the old old school legacy, like Region Two before it got reworked. You know, I, I prefer the old school uh, legacy, not necessarily like progression progression aisle. But when it comes to this Evrima, I think honestly. Having them restart from scratch, despite it being kind of annoy annoying, tedious for both developers and the players, I think honestly it was probably the best. So, despite your feelings, I think Deathly, if he is, a, if he actually did do that, I think he did a solid to the game. Um, the only thing I would say that I really, really want being addressed is the performance, as you saw in the most recent. Um, Stegosaurus Herd video it, I barely could pass 10 frames it was terrible hello alright there you go it was really bad like unbearably like unbearable it's just it was really bad I'm still in the same area as the Dinosuchus alright so I'm going to let it just kind of level out a little bit and I really want that to be fixed. Other than that, though, I would fucking love this game. Especially if it was, like, sandbox that you could play on test level. I would fucking love that. Other than that, though, if they address the performance issues, like the thing I'm facing right now, holy shit, this game would be fucking awesome. I would love it. The skins are relatively good. It gives you plenty of opportunities to make your own thing. Like if you like the old school Carnotaurus, like the red demon Carnotaurus, you could somewhat remake that. Uh, I, hopefully they could do that with the Rex, with the blue Rex, but I hopefully they do give like a homage to that. By the end of the day, I think the primary thing in my eyes that is keeping it down is the performance. Other than that though, they are putting a lot of care into the animals they're adding. And with Legacy, sure, you get a lot of op like options. There's a lot of dinosaurs, but there's nothing really cool about them. There's kind of roughly reskins to put a very not fully phrase, I guess, is what I'm looking for here. Not necessarily true, but at the end of the day, it's just basic stats that are okay, this one has more health, this one does more bleed, so on and so forth. There's nothing actually there or unique about it, just different stats and different numbers. Um, I, I do prefer, I wish they were focusing on animals that aren't things like the T-Rex, um, because I do prefer, you know, the other animals, not the T-Rex, but at the same time, though, I think when they add T-Rex, it just makes, like, the things like Acrocetosaurus additions just that much cooler. And I also really want to play Baryonyx and Spinosaurus. Um, while I, I do miss the old vision of Legacy with, like, the progression tree, you know, so, like, you progress from Austral Raptor 
of course, you know, it is outdated, and I don't remember exactly how it was formulated, but generally speaking, you got Fisher Tree, for example. You start from Ostraptor, then you go to Baryonyx, then you go to Supermimus, then to Spinosaurus, and you get to choose which Spinosaur you want, whether it's the one with short legs or the one with long legs, you get to choose between those two Spinosaurus. I do personally, would, I still would like to see that happen, but of course now I don't see it to be possible since Abrima is, you know, making it more Spinosaur being, I guess, a mix of the two, which I personally don't like, but, I mean, it looks kind of cool either way. don't like like updating and down dating I guess what you would be calling it uh, just for the sake of it being convenient space I don't like reinstalling old versions of the game so honestly I'd be okay with buying legacy uh, despite it being old fashioned or like at least uh, re-add the whole progression stuff like the progression trees because honestly that I feel very nostalgic I'd buy that I do like both Agrippa uh, and Progression. I want to keep it real. I like both. Um, but Agrippa feels a lot more polished, a lot more smooth. Not, not in performance, but like the movements. It feels a lot more, I don't know, real, I guess. Not necessarily like cardboard cutouts. I don't know how to phrase it. But um, I, I generally kind of moved away from my bitterness towards Gandhi. And, all that. I don't really care anymore. Um, it looks like he is making the game a little more help in a healthier state. Again, I only think he needs to focus on working on performance. Other than that, though, this game is pretty solid, and I can't wait for future additions. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think them rewriting the code and all that, it was a better addition. Even if he didn't sabotage the code. Um, I think it's honestly, if he did leave and not sabotage it, some people have their code like specialized, so only they could read their code and not other people. You kind of get my kind of So. I think honestly it's pretty good. I would like options where it allows you to kind of like reboot classic skins from uh, the old aisle, like the Levi Valentine skin. But I honestly, I won't mind it being like a paid DLC or not even a thing at all. I'm mixed feelings on that, but like repeating what was that one called for Astro Raptor, where it was like it's like a lot very red, like a crimson red. I don't remember what that skin was called, but I think honestly having that in game would be kind of kind of cool. At least some sort of like variant where you can kind of make it. I would really love that. That would be kind of cool. But other than that though. But yeah, I think honestly my video is evidence enough of sometimes performance would be really bad in some areas. Um, but, yeah, I do regret kind of being fucking a little shithead, like, doing attempted raiding of the aisle server back in the day on Discord. Not, like, I don't know, it was like 2019, 2018, some shit like that, when I tried to do that. It, it was bef slightly before doing the Hypocarno sound video. Um, I do regret that because, well, now I can't really contribute. 
I think honestly, I disagree with some things with Dondi. Uh, I think his heart was in the right place, but I feel like he didn't really. I think being up old when he was a kid, he didn't really like take his time to be like, okay, let's try to squash this. Uh, well, now you know that that's no longer correct information. Because originally, if you guys remember, I originally thought that there was a connection between Primal Carnage lore and the Isle lore, is what I got from it. Because I saw some people saying, making a connection of like Rowan Breaker or something, as it being from Primal Carnage. So I wish he was more like willing to like squash it. And I I'm. I'm also part to blame because I didn't really help because I, I was kind of a dick. So I think we're both partly responsible for that drama. But I, I've mostly grown from that. I, or I like to think I did. Um, but overall, I think making these changes were also pretty necessary. I think in terms like the not gonna lie, it's kinda boring. At least with this, it's kinda boring. The only thing I really don't like about it is the performance. The FPS. Like in this area, it fucking shits the bed. It is just really bad. That's why I've been underwater most of the time. Where it's, it's more tolerable. Like your audio clip. So, um, hopefully, that'd be kind of that'd be nice if Donnie could see this video. Like, okay, there's a problem that we need addressing, or okay, well, we're gonna be working on that later on. Uh, I just want it to be dealt with because I do want to have fun with the game and not just hold, just like. I don't think this is a new user for either. I don't know. adding like weather and all that all is nice. I still want to be able to play it. So they're probably just adding stuff so then they could work on uh, performance relating to you know weather stuff instead of like working on performance at the same time. So at least when they have all the cool stuff added they could then work on uh, performance attached to everything and not just little segments. Jesus. Never come to this valley, whatever this place is, this is hell. But yeah, uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm just rambling on, on at this point, man. Uh, hope, hopefully my voice is heard, or at least my, some of my ideas, or my criticisms. Despite only there being one, uh, hopefully my feedback is heard and taken as seriously. 